Hi, everyone. Uh, happy Thursday. <laughs> it's great to be with you today. I hope you had a great day yesterday. Uh, we're, we're looking at this idea that in, in our torn apart world, um, in our torn apart lives, and we've really experienced that. We've experienced the trauma that's come with that. Uh, in the middle of all that, even when we feel as if things are hopeless, um, they're not. Uh, our feelings are there, they're feelings, but they can be wrong. Uh, and, and why? Because hope, if in biblical terms, is the certainty uh, that, that God is at work. And certainly he'll, he'll uh, in the tomorrows and into eternity, he's at work, but also in the moment. In the moment that we might think is hopeless, uh, God is there holding us uh, with his hands of love. And, and I believe that, that what, um, what renews hope in us is is uh, the spirit of God is as we as we are in relationship with God through worship and uh, and I don't just mean in church together I mean as as we pray to Him as we're in His Word as we talk about Him with each other the Spirit is there uh, to renew us and and to give us a brand new uh, um, yeah experience of faith in this love that holds us and in this in this reality then we. We can be certain, we can have this hope that God uh, is with us and, and is working and, and all things for our good and holds us together. And, and so it's this idea of relationship I want to talk about today. Um, and, and we're going to go to John, the, the Gospel of John, the, the, the 15th chapter. Uh, and, and it's so amazing to me that, that, that in these next few words, he's going to talk about us loving each other in this relationship. And in the middle of all this, he talks about how love is one laying down his life for his friends. And he is a great example. So here, here we go. Uh, Jesus is talking here. It's on Monday, Thursday night. It's on Monday, Thursday night. So the next uh, that, that night and the next day, Jesus is going to die. Their world, the disciples, is going to be torn apart. They're going to be stuck in hopelessness, right? <laughs> and yet Jesus here is, is talking about uh, uh, this love that they're held in and that they can hold one another in. Uh, which is the foundation the, for the certainty, the hope in which we live every day, the moment-by-moment moment hope we live in every day. All right, so here we go. Um, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Uh, now remain in my love. I'm sorry. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. So the Bible starts talking about commands, and we, we immediately say, oh, God, I can't keep commands. I can't keep commands. But what was the command that Jesus obeyed the Father gave him? To go the way of the cross, right? Um, to give up his life for us. Jesus is talking in terms of, of loving one another and to knowing the love of God, which, which renews us in the certainty of his presence in our lives, so that then we can love one another. And it goes on, he says, uh, um, I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. This mystery of relationship. That's where this love is lived out. That's where this love is given. Um, the command here isn't the heaviness on our heads and shoulders, no. What Jesus says is, I love you. I, I want you to love others, to know his love, to know and experience the love uh, of God in Jesus Christ. And, and then he says this. He goes on here. Greater love has no one than this, that he lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends. You are my friends. Um, Jesus calls you friend and lays down his life. In that, in that reality of his, his wondrous faithfulness and love for you is the power to live in hope again, to the, live in the certainty of his presence in your life, and then you give that away. Even as you're in new, renewed relationship with Jesus, you bring that relationship of love into the lives of others. You love them as Jesus did. And that reflects that Jesus is with them as well. Um, torn apart world. They're tempted to be, live in hopelessness. Now there's certainty 
because this love of Jesus holds us. The love that took him to the cross. And we can share and are meant to share this reality in relationship with those around us. Who can you do that with today? Let's pray. Father, um, we thank you for these words that, that, that intertwine uh, the reality of your love for us uh, through which we can every day live in renewed hope, certainty of your presence and your work in our lives. And yet, Lord, it, it, it's intertwined uh, with the reality that you call us to relationship of love with those around us, both to bless them and to, and to be blessed by the others. We pray every day, Lord, that, um, that we might not make this a, a dictionary game or a passing the test game. Uh, oh, I, I, I'm feeling hopeless today. Well, I know that God loves me. As, as, if, as if you're not real, as if, as if you didn't call us friends. And then help us, Lord, to live as friends with those who are close to us and those who are farther away. So together we can reflect this experience of, of the love that we know in Jesus uh, and go forth in the certainty of your presence, the hope uh, of, of Christ in our lives. I pray in your name. Amen. All right, it's been great to be with you this week. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully see you on worship, uh, in worship on Sunday. Um, uh, um, not face to face, but at least we have this gift uh, of being together this way. May God be with you. Bye-bye.